Uh, hi everyone, we are beyond excited to be here with you today because this is the launch of our very first podcast and we can now provide you with the educational tools that are going to be available at your convenience. If you want a healthier lifestyle, we're here to help you get there and with simple tools, mm -hmm. right? Right. Okay. The purpose behind our podcast is pretty much to share our mission about the lifestyle change and just to provide you with as many healthy tips and tricks and what do you like to call it? Um, quick fixes or no? hacks. hacks? Hacks. That's Everybody right. Hacks hack. um, throughout your journey. Uh, most of you starting out really don't know where to turn because there are so many things out there, so many magazines to follow, so many breakfast How do companies. you know? Oh, you don't know. You don't know. I mean, I'm always bombarded, aren't you? Absolutely. Um, so we're here to calm the noise and kind of keep the focus, tune out everything else, and kind of focus on just a few things to get you started. So we're going to start with full introductions. Awesome. My name is Nina Neary. I am the co-owner of For You Fitness, and you will find me uh, kind of hanging out at our Tampa location every day. I am a full-time trainer there as well as nutritional coach. And if you do walk into our studio, you will likely hear me talking about food, right? Absolutely. I'm kind of a foodie. I like you. Foodie junkie. <laughs> um, I love it. Uh, I am a former microwave queen, so turned kind of semi-pro, not chef. But um, I'll put it out there like that. I like to cook uh, now, that is. So, uh, which brings me to our very beautiful guest Thank today, uh, Miss Kimberly Wilson, who is the creator of innovation at Lutzer Learning. She is a full-time boss mom mm -hmm. of two beautiful girls, and she has dedicated 20 minutes of her time, just two times two per times week. Two times a week. Started one time a week. Started one time addicted. Yes. Uh, to this process. So please tell our listeners and viewers just a little bit more about yourself. Okay, so I started on my fitness journey in November of 2015. Um, always been very, very active, but um, was looking for more. Kind of plateaued, wasn't in a place where I was achieving more. When I found a friend who told me about this crazy workout you can do with just 20 minutes a, what? a week. Um, so I started with that with you, which was amazing, um, and saw so much progress, and just shifting body composition. I think I've lost maybe seven pounds, five, seven pounds overall, mm -hmm. um, but shifted my entire physique, my entire nutritional understanding. Um, I'm cooking now, which I never cooked before, um, and, and love it, love every minute of it. So thank you, I appreciate being here with you. Oh, absolutely, it's our pleasure. Um, so before we get started with our discussion, please understand that materials that we are providing you and the content within this podcast are intended as general information and guidelines, and they should not be considered as a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, and or treatment. So, let's do it, right? Okay. The major topics of discussion today are going to involve how to build your core. And not this core, not your abs, we're talking about that solid foundation that is necessary for a healthy lifestyle change. Uh, we're not about the quick fix. This is long term Absolutely. and this is sustainable, right? Correct. So Kimberly, help me break this down. Uh, we're going to start with the first letter of our core foundation with a C. What is the this? A C's? The C. The <laughs> Make the commitment. Make the commitment. Make the commitment. Commitment. Big C. Big C. So important. Why? Because this delete this this de directly relates to your why, the why factor. Mm -hmm. Why are you doing this? It can't be for the reason that your next door neighbor is doing this. She has different reasons why she's on her personal journey. Absolutely. And I think we get so confused because uh, you know, if we look into a magazine and we see this beautiful body in there, and you come into a gym, you say, I want those abs, it's absolutely unrealistic. Absolutely. Sure. Because one, that person gets paid to look that way, and you have no idea where she's coming from either. You don't know her diet, you don't know her training plan, you don't know how hard she works, and actually how much time she has to spend in the gym. Okay, so setting your why is of huge importance. And um, building on that, the question is, how do we incorporate and build this foundation, Correct. Correct. right? Um, so we're gonna start with the absolute basics, some unsexy subjects. Not everybody wants to hear about this, but this is the foundation of your core. So I think they're sexy subjects. Oh, you, oh, yeah. you yes. You're, yes, yes, she does. Okay, so we're gonna start with a little thing we like to call hydration. 
for hydration advertisement, maybe. Uh, let's hit a little bit on the subject um, about how, what Why? and how we're really drinking Absolutely. throughout the day. Um, I think the majority of the po population thinks that they're drinking enough, but in reality, we're not drinking nearly enough. Because they're not tracking it. it oh, oh, they're what, not tracking it? <laughs> what? Okay, we'll get to that yep, subject. Yep. Um, some little signs that you can look out for uh, to kind of figure out whether you're dehydrated or not. Number one, thirst, okay? Thirst doesn't mean you need to pick up a Dr. Pepper or a sweet tea and drink it. That's not what thirst means. Thirst normally means or translates to your body is dehydrated, mm -hmm. drink some water, right? Mm -hmm. Plain water, correct? And now, Nina, what about all of the thirst quenchers that are out there? <laughs> Oh gosh, like Gatorade and what else? Well, even coconut water. Oh, everybody's like, you know, I need my coconut Hi. water. I mean, coconut water is great. It's got great electrolytes. But you know, if you're not working out on a regular basis, why are you replenishing with electrolytes and that excess sugar? Again, coconut water is outstandingly awesome for nutrients. That's another source. Another mm -hmm. source for for water. As long as it has maybe one additional ingredient and a natural ingredient, good to go. In my book. Okay. Good. Great question. Thanks. Great question. Yeah. All right. Um, another thing to look out for is maybe if you're tired or sleepy throughout the day. That doesn't mean you're just you lack the the duration of sleep that you actually need, or you need a nap. That comes from dehydration hmm. as well. Yes. Fun fact. Um, dry skin. Take a look at your fingers. If you see some wrinkles on the edge of your on the tips of your fingers, that's another sign of dehydration. Good to know. Crazy, right? right. Um, hunger. Okay. In the morning. How many times do you wake up and you have this rumbling feeling of, oh my God, I'm starving, yet you ate plenty the night before? Right. right. It is highly likely that you're dehydrated. Drink some so, water, wait a few, I'd say minutes or so. Okay. How much at water least do you eight slam ounces of night? water. Okay. Uh, do I slam? I'd say at least eight to 16 ounces. Okay. okay. That's right out the gates, but that's a habit for me. It took Got time it. to Got do it. that. But nine times out of 10, and I get that hunger hormone too, it's because I'm just dehydrated. You have to think, you have gone six to eight hours without drinking any water at all. That is a long time without water. Sure. Drink, yeah? Absolutely. Okay, all right. Um, water also has some major benefits besides being kind of, well for us too, we're a little bit of freaks on this side. Uh, we like water. Uh, it encourages fat metabolism because it enables the liver. And the liver is a primary fat burning mm -hmm. organ. It is major, major, major for fat metabolism. People drink your water, drink your water, drink your water. It also helps release toxins. It'll make it go to the bathroom more. Yes, I know that's inconvenient, but you will get used to it. You will get used to it and it will become a part of your daily routine. So take care of your liver and your liver will take care of you. Amen. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It also will help alleviate headaches. If you have frequent headaches, think about that. Hydration causes headaches. Okay. A little bit of information. So, how do we fix the water problem? Okay, let's start with in the morning. Set a giant or small bottle of water next to your okay. white sand or your your, your white sand. Your white or sand. your black sand. Your <laughs> or your natural wood stand. Your nightstand. Yeah. Or set it in your bathroom. If you're going to go brush your teeth in the morning, why not chuck some water too while you're there? True. Um, at work, have a backup water bottle, right? At work, if they don't have an already filtered uh, water system mm -hmm. or cooler, there you can have it, but what are you gonna put that water in? Well, maybe you get a bottle. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can, you can take this with you everywhere, everywhere in your car, okay? You can transfer that. Um, order water at restaurants. Have you ever tried to do that? It's kind of nice sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it also helps keep you full almost, so you don't overeat at restaurants. Right, right. You can order everything from basic water to Perrier, basic club soda, get some water in. Okay, it'll help you make good decisions in the long run. Um, that's how I feel about water. We do water challenges Ooh. with my friends. Tell me so about we it. have some cups that are very similar to this and then they're marked as you go and we'll walk by and give little jabs about like, hey, I see that you're on <laughs> how many ounces? And you know, you get a, um, a couple of friends that are all on this water challenge and they ping in with, hey, I'm at 90 ounces and you're like, uh, are you serious? 90, 90, <sighs> yeah. So speaking of quantities, um, I'd say minimum, we're recommending about 60 ounces of water, and that's minimum, guys. Your, and this may be sounding a little too TMI, your urine should be clear. 
end of story, your urine should be cleared. That's what you should be excreting. So if this bottle is, I'd 30. say 30 ounces, two of these guys, you can do that. Start early in the morning, okay? Try it, give it a go. Yes, you'll be running to the bathroom very frequently. Just know your pit stops in the in the area, in the neighborhood, okay? Know where you gotta go, <laughs> have a plan of action, okay? So that's hydration. Um, we're gonna move on to our next subject, which is, oh, sleep. Sleep, one of those things that we don't get and we need, right? As adults. As adults. Mom life, no sleep. Ah, yeah, she can attest to that. I can't, but she can. Um, I'm gonna throw out some facts for you just based on some studies that we've read. Um, research have, researchers have found that calorie-stricted people, so dieters, with eight hours of sleep, they lost double the body fat hmm. and spared muscle tissue, while people who slept less lost double the muscle. Huh. Lost double the muscle. Interesting. Okay. So Skip the there, gym, it, go to sleep. there is a inverse relationship between sleep and diabetes and sleep and obesity. I mean, there are hard facts out there. This is a big deal, guys. Like sleep right. is important. Even naps. Naps are great. Take them. Take them. That adds up. That is good sleep. I just took a two hour nap on Saturday. Yeah, it was nice. It was needed. Listen to your body when it comes to that. So um, I would say with sleep, Try to be on a sleeping pattern of some type, meaning set your alarm mm -hmm. in the morning at a, a consistent time. That way, by the end of the day, you're at least somewhat exhausted. Um, another recommendation, and I don't know where I heard, turn off the, the, the TV. The lights. Don't read, yeah. don't, I mean, you can read, but hardback, hardcover, right. no laptops, no uh, Blu-rays, well. right? No mm -hmm. Blu-rays. If you are and you have to absolutely work, get those cool little lenses. I, I have them that block the Blu-rays. Hmm. Yeah, seriously. That okay. is gonna help get good you thoughts. into a good sleeping rhythm. Um, no video games. Uh, and it, there's just a link between also nighttime TV and right. body fat. So mm -hmm. the later you stay up, the tired you are. And guess what, we talked about this earlier. Right. You are going to make bad decisions because you're tired, oh, yes. bad decisions, okay? Go to bed, just go to bed. If you're tired, go past, straight past the kitchen, Go upstairs, brush your teeth, call it a night. What's your teeth tip? My teeth tip? Yeah. Uh, Arm and Hammer. <laughs> I don't know what you use. <laughs> oh! Whoops, my bad. My teeth? Yeah. Oh. What do you say? That's how you avoid your snacks at night? Oh, so a uh, side note, um, I will take a swig of apple cider vinegar. Mm -hmm. as if I feel a hankering of sweetness, I will go straight to the refrigerator down a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, go upstairs, or brush your I, teeth. Or I yeah. will brush my teeth. Yeah. Go brush my teeth. That kind of just, ugh, I don't want anything sweet anymore. My yeah. tip. Yeah. You have a tip? I started brushing my teeth. Right? For me? I need some chocolate. <laughs> Let me brush my teeth. Yeah. Well, and then you avoid eating more. Yeah. Just in I'm general. Like, I don't want to brush my teeth again. Yes. Yeah. Good idea. Um, so sleep, try your best just to get it. And, and, Benefits will come from it. Uh, lack of sleep will produce stress. Stress leads to increase in cortisol. Mm -hmm. Cortisol is that ugly little hormone that we hate. Yes. Okay, we don't want that, all right? Sleep is so important, guys. Okay, try to get it. All right, next one. Let's move on to food. Okay. Oh, a nice subject right. here, okay? Balanced meals. Balanced meals, all right? Our that means? Oh, well, today, our meals are so off balance. They really are. From what we get in restaurants to what we serve at the dinner table. I mean, realistically, look at the plate of food, an average family, and they're going to portion out at least 50% of that plate is just dedicated to carbs. 50%. Right. And then small portion protein, maybe small portion fat, okay? We do not need all of that. No. We, that is excess, it's excess, it's excess, but we are carb fiends, we are carb addicts. And it's because of multiple reasons, mm -hmm. it's not just because- Carbs are cheap. Absolutely, absolutely, they're cheap, they're inexpensive, that's why breakfast great company fillers. is. Exactly, great fillers. We feel happy immediately after, but mm -hmm. guess what? That insulin- Crash. Crash, mm -hmm. drop down, and lethargic, and you go into a food coma. Mm-hmm, yeah, no bueno. Um, most of us, and me including, I was a carb addict, um, meaning more so chocolate and sweets. Mm -hmm. And we can't really put the blame on just carbs for like the obesity epidemic. It's the quality of the carbs sure. and also the amount 
that we're consuming. You can have carbs. They don't have to be demonized. It's just so convenient. It is. Try to get away from them. I know. But restraint also comes into play here. Right. Um, and knowing what they do actually do for your body and knowing that, um, you know, say a processed carb versus a complex carb, mm -hmm. how that truly works in your system difference. I agree. That's a whole nother topic. Okay. <laughs> so you're probably asking, well, how do I know the difference between, okay, so when I refer to balanced meals, I'm referring to a protein, a complex carb, and a healthy fat. But not everybody knows what a protein or a carb or a fat is, right? So um, we have a helpful tool provided to our clients. So if you're a client, you're a lucky duck, um, which includes a grocery list and kitchen slash kitchen slash pantry okay. that kind of it already separates your proteins your carbs your fruits but this is for a training day and it also separates proteins veggies and fats for a rest day let me go into detail about this okay, okay. balanced meals uh in regards to what we think on a weekly basis will include on your training days higher carbs, Correct. good complex carbs, and then on your days of rest, lower carbs, more vegetables, and more fats. So, so a complex carb is? Okay, oh, great question. There's a whole list, so I, can I right. name them for you? Sure. Okay, top of my list, mm -hmm. sweet potatoes. Okay. Absolutely love sweet potatoes. Um, they are totally uh, flexible in regards to what you can do with them. Mm -hmm. Talk about my sweet potato bacon sliders. Yes. yes. Or sweet potato yes. mash, sweet potato noodles. And if you're not a sweet potato fan, that's okay. There's a whole list from quinoa, brown rice, uh, buckwheat flour. There's gluten-free oatmeal. Guys, there are plenty of options out there. You can refer to our list as a client. Otherwise, shoot me a, an email later and I'll give you a list, okay? Um, everything from sprouted bread to lentils, legumes, anything like that. Um, we like to kind of put the... We'll bring it down a notch on, let's say, highly refined grains, mm -hmm. meaning like maybe white rice and uh, processed things like cereals, okay. yeah, yep. stuff like that. Uh, but good question on right. complex versus simple. I would also equate simple to anything white. Again, it's not a racist thing. It is a kind of color thing in regards to the, the kind of quality of your food. The, the simple carbs do not have any type of fiber in them. There's, they're, right. They are lacking nutrients, and we want to include nutrients into right. your plan. That's why we ask for those so if complex white, carbs. So they're white, they've been overprocessed. Yes. How they got white. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. They, lose, they lost yeah. their color. They yeah. lost their natural color. Um, another helpful tool that we have started to implement on Facebook is a grocery list in combination with easy-to-follow recipes. So all you have to do mm. is click look drive yeah or plug it into your app or plug it, into bring it to you and or that done. too oh that too yeah absolutely um again identifying between a protein carb and fat it doesn't have to be too complex um, i would say a majority of the proteins are going to come from a, an animal mm -hmm. or something from the sea to break it down and carbs will eh, normally come from the roots from the ground mm -hmm. and fats well uh, I would say anything from oils and also from animals too, including dairy, cheeses, things like that. Okay. Uh, we're not going to get into too much detail, but know that a big part of our balanced meals mm -hmm. do include does include carb cycling. Again, higher training days, we're going to include those good complex carbs so that we can refuel the muscle when it needs it the most. It also helps with recovery. But then on your days of rest, to emphasize, we're bringing those carbs back down a notch because we don't need them. Right. We do not need them. So by the end of the week, you're you're in a body fat loss mode. Save them for when you need them. Exactly, exactly for when you work out, and that's pretty much when you right. need them. Yeah. Right. So it's about kind Refuel. of fuel. Yes, it's about changing that mentality. Um, how did you first implement kind of a balanced, I would say, meal plan? I think a lot of it came from just your coaching following a session. You would say, "And what are you eating?" And I would say, "Um." <laughs> Well, what should I be eating? <laughs> and then going from there and mm -hmm. finding that balance to understand what I needed and when. But then following all of the recipes on the website mm -hmm. has been a kicker for me. There, I don't, I don't cook, and I'll tell you that to begin with. But now I've been cooking for easy three months, almost every single night. Mm -hmm. We have fallen into a routine, which mm -hmm. has been 
so phenomenal and that you know the girls and I divide and conquer that grocery store we know everything that we need to get we do that on Sunday we have a menu of you know what those things are that we're doing throughout the week mm -hmm. and it just makes it super easy plus your recipes are super fun the try. sliders that just got the yes. feature in the magazine yes. um, I, I would say the enchiladas almost won me awards with my own family the zucchini enchiladas the zucchini enchiladas mm -hmm. um, those were delicious and the cleanliness of the foods is phenomenal plus most of them you can plug into any day mm -hmm. although you you know you want to have a fattier meat during during your off days and mm -hmm. things of that nature mm -hmm. which we've just recently refined so I've made all of this progress before we really refine all of those small pieces absolutely yeah I think we definitely started with just whole ingredients mm -hmm. with you and mm -hmm. making good swaps which moves us kill the too. cereal yes absolutely no bagels in the morning no, yeah. no. Kind Move of. into eggs and, and quality foods, and the overnight oats is one of the recipes right. that are fun to make too, and you can assemble them with the children because you can get the layers in, they're making some choices, um, we pack snacks so that they're making healthy choices mm -hmm. that when I'm picking up from school, there's not that last minute junk something or a right. prepackaged something. Right. Right, so you'd say planning ahead is obviously one of those. Planning ahead has been the edge overall, absolutely. And you just have to find the time. Hear and that? it's so much more simple because we spend maybe an hour on it on Sunday and it works itself out the rest of the week. What do I need? Your recipes say, get out your spatula, you get out your saute pan, you get out your this. Boom, it just all happens. You know everything that you need. You already have all of the items that you need. So you're just good to go. Most of those recipes take maybe 20 minutes. Yeah, I don't You can't do time. hamburger helper in 20 minutes. So no. see, ah, yeah, you can't. You can't. That takes time too. You still have to pull things out of a box, pull out the skillet, mm -hmm. do this, do that. So why not make it with quality mm -hmm. ingredients? Things are actually going to nourish your body and you're going to get more out of it. Right. I'm cooking more than ever before. The kitchen is actually cleaner because most of it is one pan recipe. Mm -hmm. So easy peasy, half a dish, half a dishwasher full. Absolutely. And I think that for anybody who hasn't doesn't like to step in the kitchen it doesn't have to be complex again start with a protein start with a carb start with a vegetable go from there visit the website for the easy recipes again mm -hmm. majority of my recipes are under 30 minutes and under six to eight ingredients and v vegetables don't have mm -hmm. to taste terrible they don't have to be boring i'm so addicted to cauliflower rice isn't that crazy uh, it's not cheese. crazy but oh cauliflower grilled cheese yeah. on point yeah. on point let's just say that we can totally transform any vegetable um it's cooking made fun and mm -hmm. easy and 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 just the simplicity of it is is crazy i didn't believe in it until i actually started doing it so again my eyes light up when i talk about food so and i start getting hungry so we're gonna move on um nice. yes uh another heavy hitter in building your core i hear this daily but the scale told me this, and I jumped on the scale this morning, but I also jumped on it at lunch, and then I did it again oh, wow. at dinner. And I'm going up and down, and up and down, and up and down. D time out, okay? Get off the scale. The scale. Mm -hmm. Get off the scale, put the scale in the garage, or throw it out. And I'm talking that scale that's in your bathroom, that's taunting you every night, telling you, get on me, get on me, get on me, no. Do not get on it. Resist the urge by out of sight, out of mind. Get it out of your bathroom, okay? I don't, do you even have one in your I do. But. I'm not, yeah, I, I absolutely check it. Okay. All the time. All ah. the time. You're that person yeah. too? Okay. Every morning. However, you also have a positive relationship with your body. You know what I do though? I do progress selfies. Once a week, I take the same picture in the same place so that I can see the transformation. So I can see what's building, what's okay. happening. There's purpose that's behind, the best way. There's purpose behind your <laughs> trips to the scale. Right. Okay. I get that. I totally get that. But for those who are constantly getting on it and finding themselves in a place of complete like frustration just because it's going up a smidge mm -hmm. and going down a smidge and going up a smidge ladies I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you ladies that's your hormones talking that is water retention absolutely and hormones and water retention and stress and lack of sleep all of the above and more why do that to yourself in knowing that hey I don't need to weigh myself maybe a week from now sure as a gauge that's why at least in, in our locations we only do it every four weeks because the scale is gonna also lie to you mm -hmm. why do you think it's gonna lie to you 
It'll what? tell. Well, sometimes I'm super light, and I'm like, yeah, it's because I didn't drink enough water. Mm. <clears throat> okay, it's not going to tell you the whole truth because. Right. The programs that we instill, or right. if you decide to go out on your own and do any type of strength training program, guess what? You're going to build muscle. Mm -hmm. And muscle weighs something. Oh, and it weighs yeah. a ton more. Absolutely. This is a muscle, a pound of muscle. This is a pound of fat. Mm -hmm. Okay? It's so much more dense. So much more dense than fat. So the you scale... You have all this progress, and you think mm -hmm. that you're not because I'm working so hard, and the scale just keeps going up. And it's, this, and it's natural for that to happen, but you have to know that it's supposed to happen like that. It is supposed to, you may see a slight increase in the scale, but guess what? If you're controlling your meals and the quantity of food that you're consuming, that right. scale right. will gently come to a decline, pound by pound by pound by pound, slowly right. but surely, right. slowly but surely, right? I know you said we had, what, like a seven pound loss? Yeah. But her body transformation is ridiculous because of the body fat percentage and inches Correct. lost and inches Correct. lost and I'd say you're a lot more stronger too absolutely oh yeah absolutely oh yeah it's it's a crazy thing but do not freak out if you're that person that cannot throw out the scale which is okay yeah it's okay be it's cute it matches my bathroom <laughs> decor <laughs> <laughs> just remember that you're gonna have extra muscle and stronger bone development so you're supposed to be heavier it's okay strong is beautiful and don't forget that okay skinny is is out get get out get out okay um, and it's strong as the new skin and you hit on a good point you know the photos mm -hmm. this moves into our next big big player progress tracking journaling all of these things are gonna help keep you accountable, aren't mm -hmm. they? Absolutely. And I would say one of the things that I didn't do when I was on my own personal journey, yes, I had my own, I didn't come out the womb looking like this, okay? I was a little fluffy kid, and my husband can attest to that too. Um, I did not document my journey. I took probably one before photo, and I have some old photos from college. I wish I would have taken photos every maybe week, just like you did. But you don't want to take those you photos don't because want you're not to. happy with what you're seeing. So no. that's the hardest piece. Because it is. you go to take that photo, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> but aren't you glad that you took them? Oh, absolutely. Because you absolutely. can look back and you can reflect on your hard work. That is all you. Growth. And that is all mm -hmm. you in those pictures. That's not me. That's you, that's your progress, that's what you're building. Mm -hmm. I mean, nobody can take that away from you. It's so empowering. So that's a big suggestion. Uh, we do take photos with our clients in the beginning of their programs, and then we do continue to take photos, and you can see those at uh, our foryoufitness.com website. But I would definitely say another way to keep track um, for not only physical reasons, but for mental and food reasons is through journaling some type of how can I remember what I ate because if you don't know what you're eating how much you're eating oh, yeah. and the quality of what you're eating then how can you help yourself let alone let us help you absolutely how how you you have to for instance let's take a, a, a your bank account okay how much money you know, you think to yourself, okay, how much money do I have this week? Well, what do you do to check that bank account? What do you do to keep yourself accountable to make sure there's enough funds in there to pay those bills? What do you do? You balance your checkbook. You balance your checkbook. Yep. You look online. You make sure you check that statement. You, There's a reason. You have to keep yourself accountable to those funds. Why are we not doing that with our bodies? We'll do it with money, but we won't do it with our bodies. Correct. Right? It's crazy. It's crazy. I'm kind of old. Nobody got time for that. No, so how do no we get time for that. Well, <laughs> if you <laughs> get time for that, <laughs> you make time. It's just an excuse. It really is. You can make time. Again, nobody's perfect. We don't expect you to track ninety days in a row. No, that's unrealistic. But at least get in a solid five days so you can find your inconsistencies. You can find those kind of times of the day where you know you're hungry, mm -hmm. but why are you hungry? What, the times of the day where you have that sugar craving, mm -hmm. that sugar spike, like, oh my gosh, I want something. That means your body is lacking something. in something. Yeah. So you again, you can't remember all of those things, so you've got to track it because your body likes to operate on a cycle. It really does, especially females. And if you know at a certain time of the month, mm -hmm. you are craving certain things and you're acting differently and you are heavier on the scale, well, guess what? That is normal. And hopefully that helps you breathe at mm -hmm. night because it's yeah. normal, but you've got to track. You're not having a meltdown. No. You're being a girl. You're being a female. Mm -hmm. What? Well, yes, our <laughs> lives are great. I, I, I just don't, um, 
don't go throughout this journey without documenting something, whether that's your water intake, your protein intake, or even as simple as I've got something that I'm totally old school and I love this. I have a, a journal and this is actually my lifting journal and I put out some post-its here because I track my moods and um, here at the top on July 23rd, I felt stronger than Monday. I don't know what happened Monday, <laughs> but I felt stronger and I made a note and I put a big check because I completed that workout. And then two days later, on maybe or a few days later, Monday, July 28th, I feel strong, okay? Make notes of how you feel, okay? The, it just helps with, again, not only accountability, but knowing that you're doing something right, that something is working. So you can go back and see your successes. Absolutely. To celebrate them. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I, I mean, as far as tracking, or I know something great that you do on weekends, well, at least you've sent me on the grocery list. Right. That that's tracking. Isn't that oh, a absolutely. form of tracking? Well, actually, that's the way that because I couldn't find that I could be behind it, mm -hmm. I decided to get in front of it. So when you're trying to document everything that you've already done, it's for me, it was too late. <laughs> it's never too late. So rather than trying to ask for forgiveness, I instead gave myself permission. And I found that that made a big shift for me. So planning on Sundays, figuring out, I mean, I'm writing down, um, what we're going to have for breakfast every morning, and it goes in an Excel spreadsheet on the refrigerator. And it sounds completely type A, however, <laughs> it works so well because everything that Absolutely. you need to know, you know, we're having those oats or we're having down to what's for lunch. Um, we have school lunch, if there's a supplement that I need to provide, and then a snack for the kids, which you have some great snacks that pack easy in a cooler mm -hmm. that you can just pop right along. The carrots, the peanut butter, the celery, the apples, all of these things are great. Kid snacks in the afternoon. Carrots. The rainbow Whole carrots. Whole so ingredient. Super fun. Whole ingredient. You can also pop them with some hummus, which mm. makes a dip, and kids love to dip anything. Perfect. So for me, having that plan in a cooler that's just packed and ready to go, we're not leaving school and our family till around 4 or 5 o'clock. So it needs to be a healthy choice mm -hmm. so you don't wreck dinner. But then I also have a dinner plan. And it's so as simple as you're looking on the refrigerator, you know exactly what it is that you're having. Mm -hmm. So I'm not doing as much retro tracking, I'm just following the plan. You're committed to the plan. You're a planner. Yes, Pla I'm a planner. Planners win. Planners win at the end of the day. It really is. Because you're getting in front of it instead of being behind exactly. it. Exactly. And that really is the piece that's Ab giving me the Absolutely, edge. absolutely. And again, because life does happen, don't beat yourself up. If you didn't have your meal prepped for that day, uh, for instance, she had Whole Foods today. Mm -hmm. She didn't get to plan her meal, so I recommended that she go to Whole Foods. She picked this, this, this. Boom, we're good. Yep, done. Okay. There's always an option. There's always something else that you can do. We're here to provide you with those tools. So all you have to do is ask and inquire. There's always an answer. There's always a plan B. Absolutely, always a plan B. Always a plan B. So um, rounding out this whole thing. Um, commit to these little habits daily. You'd say that, right? Absolutely. Water. Absolutely. Sleep. Mm -hmm. Water. Yeah. Food. <laughs> balance. Water. Balance. Yeah. Balance. Again, when I say balance, protein, carb, complex carb, and a fat uh, on a regular basis, try to cycle them in and out. Think, what does my body truly need? Not do what, what do I really want? not really what don't feed into those cravings or at least try not to do your best I'm a sucker for chocolate sweets anything and self-control is everything for me and I think for the first time I practiced self-control on my own birthday I had lots of options Crazy. lots of options and it is a struggle it's going to be a struggle it will be a constant up down oh, yeah. up down twist turns um, it, your progress is not linear it shouldn't be lean, linear at all it should be it's a ride it is definitely a ride, but the commitment to these little things will help build the foundation, build it and solidify your core, your core of your being, mm -hmm. your core of your lifestyle change. Start there with the absolute basics. I did miss one thing, exercise. Oh, can't forget that little tip. Yeah, we should definitely Yeah, we should kind of tip, um, tip about that. Exercise, any exercise that you want, whether it's yoga, get outside, brisk walk, um, ride your bicycle, any form of physical activity is a great start. Absolutely. Whatever eases your mind, whatever makes you happy, it sh 
shouldn't feel like, oh my God, I have to go to the gym. It shouldn't feel that way. There should be, yes, a little hesitation like, oh, I gotta go, but I'm gonna buck up and I'm gonna do it. And then once you leave, what's the feeling that you get? Get that rush. It's that, that endorphins. Yeah. The endorphins. Endopamine. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. And it's so true. You talk to anybody who works out, nine times out of the ten, you know, they go into the gym walking like this, then they leave like, yeah, boom. And even if you don't feel well, all of that seems to just cure you and you feel much better on the exit. So Absolutely. just get your shoes on. Just get your shoes on. Tie up the, yeah. tie up the shoelaces. Mm -hmm. Walk tall into the gym. I'm going to do this. Nobody's going to do it for you. No one but you. Um, yes, we do provide assistance at For You Fitness, but it takes a lot to just walk through the door. You got to show up. You have to show up. You have to commit to showing up. Commit. Commit to showing up. And again, one to two times per week. Start small. If you try to commit to something five days a week, two times a day, that is it. unrealistic. It is just... It's unreachable. I mean, maybe for the first two or three days, guess what? You're going to burn out and you're going to look at workouts like it, it's... Okay. You uh, won't be able to keep your commitment. Exactly. So don't over budget what you can't commit to. Exactly. Exactly. Think realistic, achievable, and small goals. Small, achievable goals. That way, by the end of the week, you're, you're in a positive mood. You're great. You killed your week. You yeah. drank your water. You slept. You ate good. Boom. Boom. Then we move on. Then we talk about the next step, and that's going to be featured in our next podcast. Uh, we have so much to talk about with you guys. This is we're just tapping the surface right now, um, and I just I just think it's so important that you start ground up, solid foundation, build your core so that you will start changing your life, not just you know a temporary fix. Make it a lifestyle. Make it a Habit. lifestyle. Habit. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, every single one of our topics today will be kind of funneled into their own podcast, but we are taking suggestions. Um, we're definitely going to have kid topics. Absolutely. Right. Kimberly will be back. Um, she's a stellar mom, and she's got great ideas. And she, you guys, a lot of you can't relate to me, but you can relate to a mommy, a career mom who is busy and has zero to little time to cook to clean, to take care of two kids, to run a household. Come on, no excuses, people. None, okay? None, none, okay? I'm so serious. Um, also, uh, if you did find this podcast helpful, email me at nina at 4 fitnesscom I'm taking suggestions. Any tips, uh, tips, I'm sorry, questions, any additional topics you want to discuss, we are all ears, all ears. We want to help you. This is for you. This is not for me. For you, yeah? Absolutely. She knows really good stuff. I, I kind of do, kind of do. Uh, take home message. Remember, in building your core, mm -hmm. trust the process. Right? Absolutely. Trust the process. Signing out. Bye now. Good. Okay, turn this off. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh, God. It was on live on Facebook. Shut oh, up. What? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And we had lots of comments and viewers. Shut up! <laughs> well, then what's the point of a podcast if it's live on Facebook the whole time? Well, because that's going to be edited. Wait, this this is, is just whatever. No one watching the whole thing, you know? Huh. And they're going to forget about it. It's going to take a month until... Did you tag me? Because I have so many people waiting to see it and that wanted to see it live. <gasps> I don't remember what I just said. So, I know you did great. <laughs> okay, you think so? Because I'm like, oh, I think I'm just sitting here smiling at her. She's really pretty. <laughs> <laughs> How do we do? Good. That's good. I'm going to tell you guys now. His feedback He's is good. so minimal. <laughs> yeah, that's good. I'm going to tell you now? Is that what you said? You're going to tell no, us I'm how gonna we He's going to tag you. Oh. How, we how should long? do our bloopers. How long was that? I know, right? Take two. Oh, I think we had our bloopers Scroll already. Up. Well, I think it's still recording. No, no, no. Oh, you're still recording. Welcome, everyone. Hi. How are you doing? Oh, may the fourth be with you. <laughs> may the eighth. Oh. But how hopefully do we know it's the, the eighth? Well, hopefully it's before then. It's his job to edit it. Well, well you should have said the fourth. <laughs> You could have. You're live on Facebook. You could have said it because.